Hi and welcome to Gear Talk Tuesday where we share the gear that we use out in the field. Today I want to share with you this generator. This is a Predator 2000 watt generator. In this video I want to share with you what I needed a generator for, what specific qualities that I was looking for in a generator, why I ended up choosing this generator and my experiences with it. So when I was looking for a generator, the two things that I really needed a generator for was Number one, camping. Uh, we love to camp, my family loves to camp. We have a 19 foot tra uh, camper trailer. We just wanted to do some dry camping and so we started looking for um, some ways to get some power to our, to our camper. And uh, the second thing is just for emergencies. Um, in case we lost power at the house, just something that we didn't really need anything that would power the whole house. We just needed something that would power the, the, the deep freeze or we needed one for the fridge or devices or just something like that. Didn't need something for the whole house but just wanted to have a generator to power uh, specific things if we needed it. When I was looking for a generator the, the things that that I was looking for when purchasing a generator was I wanted something that that was quiet. I didn't want a big loud generator sitting beside my camper keeping us up at night or just just be annoying while we're hanging around camp. So. I wanted something that was quiet. I needed something that was easy to easy to transport um, for obvious reasons, um, but also for my wife. You know, if I was gone or something like that, she could grab this generator, pick it up, and take it where where she wants to put it. Um, and something that was easy to use for her. That you know, if I was gone, something that just push a button, pull, start. You know, something simple. And uh, so, so that was kind of the second thing that. Uh, I was looking for in a generator. And then uh, third thing was just affordability, just something that was going to fit within my budget. And uh, fourth thing is something that was reliable, you know, something that um, I didn't mind paying extra money if I needed to, but I definitely wanted to get something that, was la that, that would last. Um, so those are the kind of the four things that I was looking for uh, before purchasing a generator. When I was looking at a generator, I kind of narrowed it down to two generators. Um, did a lot of research, looked at a lot of reviews, comparisons, but uh, I was looking at the Honda 2000 and the uh, this generator right here. And the Honda 2000 has been a has been around a long time. It's a it's a very durable, um, reliable generator. Great generator. After looking at reviews and stuff like that, this was half the price. I think a, a Honda was around a thousand bucks. Um, and uh, this one was around 500. It's quiet, it's easy to use, easy to transport, so it met all those needs. My biggest concern was durability, um, reliability. That was what was kind of hanging me up on this generator before buying it, but I have a friend that works on generators for a living and he actually uh, recommended this generator and uh, said that they're great, great generators. So him saying that kind of eased my mind and uh, basically ended up uh, leading me to buy this generator. So my experience with this generator so far, um, I absolutely love it. Um, I've used this for about, I've had these for about two years. Um, I, have a, I don't have a lot of hours on them. I think I probably have 100 hours on each one of them. You know, they're there when I need them. Um, we went out camping another day. These have been sitting for a few months. Took the generator out, storage, two cranks, fires right up. That's one of the things I was looking for. They're super quiet. I'll demonstrate that for you here in a minute. Easy to use, easy to transport. Uh, they've been reliable. And like I said, they were half the price of the Honda. So what I did is I bought two of them, um, 2000 watt, 2000 watt, and I paralleled them together with this parallel kit. Um, and this is usually how I run my camper. And this gives me plenty of Plenty, plenty of power to run my whole camper. So it gives me 4,000 watts. This thing's super easy to use. You just essentially parallel these two together and um, works great. They each hold a gallon of gas. The other day we went out camping and uh, put a gallon in here, put a gallon in here, and they ran from eight o'clock in the evening to eight o'clock that next morning. So depending on what you're running or how many amps um, they'll run all night long anywhere from 8 to 12 hours is my experience as far as um, how long these generators run for uh, video purposes um, I did not start this up 
These have been sitting in storage for about, or been sitting in my shop for about a month. So let's just see if they fire up. I don't have them parallel together, but uh, basically all you do is you have a off run and start. Just put it on start and let's crank her up. Second pull. So that's without a load on it, but uh, that's it. I mean, easy as that. It's easy as that. Click it to start, crank it once, twice at the most, and it fires right up. It's, it's whisper quiet and um, it's been a good reliable generator so far a couple things that i make sure that i do is add oil if i go on like a weekend camping trip I'll, I'll add some oil every time and then some fuel fuel stabilizer i keep fuel stabilizer in it so um but that's it i mean and it just uh it's been a great purchase for me and um i would recommend it to anybody that's looking for an affordable reliable generator for camping or, or birds to use so so if you have any questions leave us a comment or if you have any experience with this generator or any other generators we'd love to hear from you but uh, thanks for watching and have a great day